Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, it's Rob from RobNoFoto.com with a really quick little video about Canon film cameras um, with the EOS 50E and Canon digital cameras like the uh, uh, 350D SLRs, DSLRs um, with interchangeable lenses. And this is my little hit and tip, hint and tip for doing DSLR photography on the cheap because we know that DSLRs are really really expensive you know even if you go on eBay and look for an old some camera like a 300 or a 350D or 400D with a lens you know you're, you're talking silly money you can often go on eBay and get a newer model for equivalent price now my trick I guess is this is get a, get a camera where it's just a body Okay, if you're after a digital SLR and you're going to buy a second hand one, just look for a body by itself. Because what happens is with with uh, with SLRs and digital DSL, DSLRs, people keep the lenses, they keep the glass, and they upgrade the bodies. So, for example, this 350D, you know, I might want to upgrade it to a th uh, 400, 450D, 500, 550D. They're up to now. But what I would do is, if I was going to upgrade, there's no point really keeping the old body. So what I would do is I would keep keep the lens sell the body so that means you can normally pick up camera digital camera bodies on eBay um, quite cheaply well <laughs> relatively cheap I mean they're still not cheap cheap but they go for a lot less than than a camera with a lens because what people want them as a camera with a lens now this is the this is the the, the the trick bit the trick is to look on eBay for Canon film cameras um, now it doesn't matter what the camera is really. Um, this is a 50E. It could be any of, the, of any of the film cameras because these Canon film cameras that have got autofocus on them, they have the same lens mount as the digital cameras. So this camera that's sort of 15, 20 years old will fit this camera that's five years old. And lots of the people who are listing Canon film cameras, they found them in the attic or they've got them off a relative and they haven't got a clue what they're all about. But you could get, a, not something like a 50 because they go for a few quid, but one of the cheaper ones that you'll see. And literally, you buy this, you get rid of the film body because you don't need it anymore. And there we go. We've now got a perfectly workable, autofocus camera for our digital body. Now you do have to look around a lot um, and a good example are these two lenses here. This is the Canon EF 28mm and this is the Canon EF 75-300mm. to 300 millimeter. I think this one goes for about 170 quid new and this one goes for um, I think it's about 220 quid new. But I, and, the, and these are both in mint condition. I got these from eBay for I think it was a hundred pounds for the pair okay so both of them together for a hundred pounds and the reason why I got that is because I got them off somebody who was selling an old film camera with the lenses and um, they hadn't listed it very well and all I did was I just sent them sent them a, a, an email saying would you do a buy it now on it on them and they said well how much and I said well I'll tell you what I'll give you I'll give you a hundred quid for it all and they snapped my hand off because they hadn't got a clue how much they were worth um, so you know, and they're perfectly accepted and perfectly workable. Now, do check with some of the, the lenses, um, some of the zooms. They're not always completely compatible. Um, so what I tend to do is do a quick Google search for the lenses. Now, the primes you're always you're always all right with, and often you'll find quite a few 50 mils going around. So they're definitely worth looking out for. But some of the zooms, just just check that they are compatible. Just just do a quick search. I think it tends to be the strange ones that are like 35 to, to 50 and things like that. Um, and make sure they're Canon as well, because lots of the old Sigma lenses, autofocus ones, will work on the film cameras, but won't work on the won't work on the digitals. But generally, if you go for Canon EF lenses, you're fine. So there we go. So that's my sort of eBay hint and tip for you. If you buy a digital camera, buy a body. If you buy in second hand, and then buy for your lenses, look for film SLRs, and just search eBay for Canon film. And then when you want to buy more lenses as well for your Canon DSLR, just search for Canon Film and you'll be amazed by the, the bargains that, that pop up. One to look out for is the 28 to 105. If you see one of them going cheap, um, definitely pick it up. Okay, that's Rob from RobNonPhoto.com. Thanks for watching.